Hello, in this video we will look at the events of ectasis, for example the molting and in arthropods, basically is the phylum arthropoda is used for the periodically shedding of the exoskeleton because it is contain exoskeleton so arthropod by molting or ectasis the periodic shedding of the old exoskeleton. Why? Because uh, they need to grow and develop with the periodically shedding of the exoskeleton because the exoskeleton will inhibit the growth of the organism. So let's begin to understand the all steps of the ectasis as well as the endocrinology of the ectasis with respect to the hormone production and this hormone production is fit, will lead to control the ectasis as well as the periodically shedding due to the hormonal activity. So here is the insect. Insects contain a basically exoskeleton. This exoskeleton we will discuss here. This exoskeleton is contain a old cuticle is the upper part and inner side is the uh, endodermis which that is contain a living cell. While the old cuticle is contain a uh, basically the cuticle is contain a uh, uh, dead dead and it is made up of polysaccharide. This polysaccharide is made up of chitin and this nature of the polysaccharide is known as the chitin. And chitin is also the um, function of the cell wall of the fungi. So that is mean here. So the underlying epidermal cells here and here is the basically when uh, when the uh, growth will be occur and that means the new cuticle will be developed and that means the here is the epidermis uh, epidermal growth will be occur and old cuticle will be shed shed off so here is you can see that and periodically shedding due to the hormonal activity so here is the gland which that is produce the uh, gland production which that is the hormonal acti actizen produce which that is uh, detach the old cuticle while increase the new cuticle from the cell which that is the gene activation to produce that uh, chitin. So important thing is that here is a process of endocrine hormone uh, process of endocrine hormone with uh, periodically shedding of the exoskeleton. So here is the skin of the basically freshwater prawn for example for clearing the all insect uh, cuticle or uh, all insect skin so this is the uh, barrier uh, barrier part of the skin so that is contain a CT is here and here is the epicuticle is the upper and lower is the basement membrane and upper part of the basement membrane is known as the basement membrane is known as the membranous layer and between the membranous and basement membrane layer is the epidermis. This epidermis is secrete the basically is inside is the tegumental gland which that is secrete the uh, 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 antimicrobial protein for example and ducts of tegumental gland and on the other hand the epicuticle. So the epidermis upper part is the um, principal layer while the upper part of the principal layer is the procuticle and epicuticle. So here let's begin to understand the first we will understand the hormonal control. So here is the brain of the insect. This the basically is the general brain of the insect which that is stimulate the uh, P, uh, PTTH. This PTTH secrete by um, basically is the uh, prothoracic uh, hormone. Um, Pro, uh, thoracic hormone which that stimulate the para uh, prothoracic gland this prothoracic stimulating hormone which that stimulate the prothoracic gland and after the production of the gland which produce the red color show in the figure um, PTTH secreted by brain and neurosecreted cells and stimulates the gland to secrete actaizen hormone in the color of red so the two lobe like structure is known as a corpus allatum. This corpus allatum is responsible for the production of another hormone, juvenile hormone we will discuss also. So here is the basically is production of the prothoracic gland which that produce the uh, actaizen. This actaizen is the important character we will discuss. Each releases of actaizen stimulate as mold. Actaizen is the molting hormone. So actaizen is a molting hormone which that is used for the periodically shedding of the exoskeleton. So important thing is that 
the one by one the first instar larva which that is basically periodically shed and after the first shedding it will be grow and during the growth time the parasitic uh, basically the predator can capture it and uh, they uh, the threat is increase so the periodically shedding is the disadvantage is that while here the corpus allotum is the corpus allotum produces juvenile hormone in the color of blue we will discuss and during most molt molts but stop later in develop development from uh, from larval stage to adult so it means it is control when increase so the meaning of the increase mean the uh, periodical shedding while the shedding will be uh, continues why the uh, while the development will be increased by the decreasing of the juvenile hormone so here that is the antagonistic kali work we will discuss also so is the first mold and the second mold after the second mold increasing of the acidation and the third in star mold uh, of the larva and the mold this is the uh, basically immature larva which that is developed and fourth in star larva uh, which that is basically molting so this molting is used for the growth of the larva not development not changes so it means when begin to changes that is known as the metamorphosis so the important character of the also of the insect is the metamorphosis which that is change from the larva to the pupa and to the adult so it means for example we will take the example so here is the pupation will be occur this pupation will produce a pupa and pupa is contain a surrounded layer is known as cocoon that is capsule like an inactivation stage of arthropods during growth and development time so that will be dormant stage so the dormant stage is when juvenile hormone reaches a low level the larva spins a cocoon and molds into pupa pupa so it be it means it will be molded into the pupa and that molting is the uh, distinct and the pupa does not produce juvenile hormone so it metamorphoses uh, into adult so for example the butterfly will be formed so that means the all thing is the basically is the a pupa convert into the adult that is the metamorphosis because every stage of the development and growth will be change change of their shape and structure as well as function so that is the important things the pupa does not produce juvenile hormone so it metamorphoses uh, into adult so that was the basically the function of the uh, endocrine gland because why endocrine because it is travel into the circulatory system of the insect while the insect contain a open circulatory system so that means the open circulatory system importance that that the tissue is directly bath from the blood to the basically the hemocyanin or hemolymph are present in the in the insect instead of the uh, hemoglobin so for the trapping of the oxygen while on the other hand the inter mold stage we will discuss about the stages of mold and we will understand so first of all here is the metamorphosis will be increase due to the juvenile hormone will be decrease so the decrease of the juvenile hormone will be increase the metamorphosis so the juvenile hormone will be inhibit the metamorphosis so while the metamorphosis will decrease the juvenile hormone so the promotion of molting in the same larval growth so next we, here we will discuss about the all picture by the step wise to understand the molting process just here so here is the intermolt stage which that is the here is the epicuticle and inside the cuticle so the epicuticle and inside the cuticle which that is the um, cuticle which that develop so i am going to next developing of the exoskeleton for the shedding of the old exoskeleton so here is the epidermis and here is the epicuticle and inside is the cuticle so when the when the periodically shedding will begin so the separation will be occur from the epidermis to the and cuticle so between the cuticle and epidermis that is the hormone is known as the ectoisone that's hormone will be lead to digest the uh, cuticle 
uh, which that is attached with the epidermis so after the digestion the apolysis will be occur apolysis mean the apolysis mean the epicuticle will be digest on the other due to the due to the uh, tegumentor gland on the other hand the important thing is that the enzyme is used for it to digest it uh, of the polysaccharide chitin so on the other hand here is the secretion of fluid growth of epidermis will be occur so here is the mitosis will be occur it means the cell division of the epidermis will be occur it means the separation will be increase after the separation will be old cuticle will be upside and new cuticle will be developed from the um, from the from the epidermal ep epidermal cell which that is create a new cuticle on the basis of new cuticle the old cuticle will be digest and shed off old cuticle and new cuticle will remain constant and uh, uh, maintain the new cuticle st uh, uh, as long as the new cuticle will be developed again for the next shedding so thanks